Hello friends, here in this video we will see what is meant by eccentric loading. Now to understand eccentric loading, here I will draw a diagram. Now, to understand eccentric loading, here we have a vertical column. Next, this is the axis of the column. Now, we are determining eccentric loading. Eccentric loading means a load which is acting away from the axis. So, I will write down here, there is load which is denoted by P acting away from the axis so whenever the load is away from the axis it is called as eccentric load and here if i can consider this as the front view at the top if i see here the load will appear as a point now the distance of this load from the axis it is denoted as small e called as eccentricity so here I can say that where E is called as eccentricity. Now, here as the load is away from the axis, it is called as eccentric load. And because of that, what can happen? First of all, if the load which I have here, now if this load would have been passing through the axis, then it is called as axial loading. But since it is away from the axis, it is called as eccentric loading and because of eccentric loading, there are direct as well as bending stresses developed in the column. So here I have written that when we have eccentric loading because of that there is direct as well as bending stress which is developed in the column because of the load W which is acting in the downward direction as the ground is fixed here. So there is compression of the column and because of that it would be called as direct stress and when I take the moment of this load that is P into E about the center of the column that produces a bending moment and because of that bending moment there will be bending of column and when we look at the failure then suppose because of the load the column has failed then this column would be tilted like this because of the load which is eccentric now the column will shift in the direction of load that is it will be removed from it from the ground and here when it is removed from the ground at this end here the column is pressed to the ground so there is compression and where it gets lifted from the ground at that end there is tension so we can say that whenever the load is eccentric there are two stresses which are set up in the column or a material and that is direct as well as bending stresses so Therefore, the resultant maximum stress will be sigma max is equal to direct stress plus bending stress. Therefore, direct stress it is denoted by sigma suffix d, bending stress sigma suffix b. And similarly, the resultant minimum stress sigma minimum will be direct stress minus 
bending stress so therefore sigma minimum will be sigma suffix d minus sigma suffix b so in order to avoid the column from getting lifted then there should be compression at both the ends so that both the ends are pressed to the ground so tension needs to be avoided so i can write down here therefore to avoid the failure of columns due to eccentric loading there should be no tension in the section that is only compression should be there and that will result in the safe operation of the column because of eccentric load but if one of the end at there if we are having tension then the column would be lifted from its place and we have to avoid this condition so in this video we have seen what is the meaning of eccentric load